best coats of clear on the deck lid and the ground thing. Okay. Now, like I told you, if you come over here, I went ahead, I went ahead and taped this area off because we're going to have flames coming out the side panels and ending in the door. Now, I painted it with paint and then I put my DBC 500 sealer on it. Okay, and it has a semi gloss. And what that is, that's a clear sealer so you can do your artwork on it. So, tomorrow or the following day, I'll color sand that down to 1500. And I can go ahead and tape it off. I can do whatever I want to do to it. I can touch it, as you can see, and it ain't going to mess nothing up. And then I come back and I can clear coat it. Now, we're going to do all the artwork, and we'll go ahead and back tape this. And when we paint the whole card, I'm done. Is I went ahead and I used the DBC 500 first. OK? And on the parts that we're not putting the flames on, I went ahead and clear coated it. And what I use is Concept DCU 2021 Urethane Clear. That's very, very high tensile clear. It's very strong. It's very good for rock uh, chips and ultraviolet ray. It won't fade out in the sun like other clears do. And this is the highest quality clear that you can actually purchase for your money. It's a very expensive. But it's well worth the money with all the money and time that you can put in your vehicle. And I'd like to say that uh, if you're not a professional painter, with all the time and all the money that you got invested in your vehicle, it's better to let a professional do the end, final, finished job to your vehicle. Because all the money that you waste and all the time that you put in your car will go right down the tubes if you get a very tacky paint job. The paint job is the most important part of building your Street Beast car. Because the thing that attracts people to your car the most is uh, the paint job. And if the paint job ain't high quality, no one will even pay attention to the rest of the car. So this is Pete. All right, what we did, we went ahead and painted all our small pieces of our uh, 33 Ford Street Beast Coupe. <laughs> We clear coated the parts that are not going to have the flames on them. And what we did, if you look here, I went ahead and I painted the cowling. I'm going to back tape that off so you'll never know that we painted it separate. And what that's doing, that saved me a lot of time and a lot of expense because I don't have to paint the whole car and put our DBC 500 sealer on the whole car and then have to sand it all down. I'm just doing the area that I need to. So what the owner wants, he wants, these are the correct way to put the flames on your car is don't draw them on there with a pencil. Okay, draw them out with your tape. Now if you look right here, okay, you can see that I've already got these ones taped out and ready to cut out. And I'm going to have them intertwining each other and they're going to really look nice. So what I'm going to demonstration right here on the flames out with your tape. Now like I said, okay, if we wanted to, we can go ahead and keep going with our flames. So I'm going to go ahead and add to this. Now, we're not going to put these on here. We're just going to add to it. But as you see, I'm stretching it out, and I'm not pulling on the tape. And I'm lightly pulling up and down, getting my curves, and then I'm breaking it off. Then I come over here, and I'm lightly pulling on it, coming back around. Now you can start seeing the flame action as it's going, see? And if I wanted to, I could keep that flame there, but I'm not gonna, we're gonna stop it right here like this because everything looks uniform. So the best thing to do is just get yourself an old panel kind of like this and kind of just practice your flame work, see, with your tape, okay? You know, study pictures, and one more thing, don't concentrate on it, on it real hard, because the more you concentrate on it, the harder it's going to be to come out. And you know, you don't have to get real fancy with it, just 
See, there's another flame. Okay, the best way to do it is now. After you have your flames laid out on one side of the car, I'm left-handed, so I have to start out on the right-hand side of the car. Okay? It's very hard for me. If you're right-handed, you'd start out on the left-hand side and do it that way because you got to pull with the hand that you're capable of using the proper way. What you want to do is get yourself a razor blade, just like so. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this flame go under that flame. And then this flame is going to go under that flame. So it's going to look like it's intertwining. So if I want this flame to go under this flame, what I got to do is I got to cut this flame out, just like so, inside the blue line. Do not press very hard with your blade. All you got to do is give it enough pressure. And if you look close, you can see it looks like the flame's going underneath. Now, this one is going to be going on top of that one. So now it's starting to get a little uh, difficult here because we got this here. <laughs> see what I'm saying? And since this is such a big area, we're going to have to have this go under. This will go under that and on top of that one, see? So we're going to go like this, just like so. So if we want this one to go under, we're going to take off this side of the flame. Now, if you look at that, that's starting to look pretty nice. Now this one down here, that's kind of a single flame. It's not intertwining. It's just, you know, the dead end flame that I made. So it really doesn't matter. Since this is the skinnier one, I'm going to go ahead and put this one on the top. Gently. This is another reason you want to use your DBC, DPG, DBC 500. DBC, DPG, DBC are starting to look. If you come over at this angle right here and back up, you can see that our hot rod flames are really, really, really looking good. And one more thing, the, uh, the more subtle that you make your flames, the more desirable they're going to be. If you get real, real exotic with it, uh, people are, it's going to start looking way too gaudy. So don't think the more flames, the more better they're going to look. It's actually the other way around. The less flames, the better it looks. Okay? Now, the next step, after you have all your flames taped off and you got your pattern, the way that you make the exact same pattern on the other side, okay, 